This video segment is about what compiling a C code means and what really happens when you take a C code and you compile it. After this video lecture, you will be able to reach three main objectives. First, you will take a simple C code that we wrote for you, compile it and run it. Second, you will learn about the four phases between the source C code and the final program called executable. Third, we will put in practice all these concepts by trying different things with the C compiler. When we talk about compiling, we intend all the processes between a source C code to an executable file. That is the final program we run to perform the operation we define in the source code. The path between our C source code to the final executable consists of four main steps pre-processing, compiling, assembling, and linking. At the end of the linking phase, we have the executable file that we can run. The first thing to do is to write the code. In this case, we wrote a, for you a C code uh, called uh, hello underscore world dot C. That is typically the first code everybody writes when you learn a new language. In the future, most of your work will be to write this C source code and we will spend time with you so you can write some uh, good uh, C, C code. The first step in preparing your executable is the pre-processing stage. As the name uh, suggests, what it does is to instruct the compiler to do all the required pre-processing before the actual compilation. You can call this phase text substitution as it actually substitute preprocessor directive into source code. Preprocessor directives are lines of code starting with the pound symbol. Some, some people also call it a uh, number symbol. The most famous preprocessor directive is the uh, pound include directive that is used for a file inclusion that is inserting the content of another file into the source file. The second most famous preprocessor directive is pound define, that is a macro substitution that replaces piece of commands in the source code. The second step towards the executable is the compilation phase, inflection bones. Compilation is the translation of a code written in language that is independent on the machine we are using we're using at the moment, to another code that can run only on the processor where we did the compilation on. The compilation step transforms the C code, plus some extra code added by the preprocessor, to an assembler code. The assembler code is a specific for a given processor. For instance, I'm using a Mac Air laptop with dual-core Intel i5 processor. And the assembler code I'm generating with the compilation I can run only on this processor. Some adventurous programmers still program directly in assembly for specific CPU. Why you want to do that? The reason is that in some cases you can do better than compilers and have higher performance than the assembler code generated by the compiler. The third phase towards the final executable is the assembling phase. At this stage, the assembler code is translated to machine code that is the code with the binary instruction which computer can respond directly to. The machine code generated at this stage is called objective file. In all my life, I'm pretty old, I encounter only one programmer coding in machine code. Nowadays it's rather difficult to meet one. Nevertheless, there are still some machine code programmers around, especially in uh, high-performance high computing center. The last phase between us and the executable is the linking phase. As the name says, the linking, linking stage takes one or more objective files and produces a single file that is our executable. It, it also takes a library that is a collection of pre-compiled object files and add it to executable. A typical example of a library we will use quite a lot is the C standard I.O. library called uh, STDIO. For instance, if you want to print something to screen, the linker will take the object code for printing from the library and add it to the executable code. 
The C compiler called GCC allows us to go directly from our C code, in this case hello underscore world dot C, to the final executable hello underscore world. So all intermediate steps we have been talking about are actually hidden. However, it's possible to access all the intermediate products of the different phase or during the compilation by using compiler flags. In these slides, we have the GCC compiler flags that allow us to check the intermediate products, products of the compilation. For instance, we can use minus capital E to see the C code after the pre-processing. We can use minus capital S to check the assembler code after the compilation. And we also can check the machine code before the linking with the minus capital C flag.